So we're back and we are bleak. <laughs> I just I've been messing around with a post processing effect in this game. This looks very weird. It's dark as fuck. Can't see anything. Kind of reminds me of like a PS1 game because of the lack of draw distance. But yeah, you can go into settings, you can go into audio and display and over here you can change some stuff. Let me go into cell shaded. Yo, it's got a cartoony vibe to it. This is the type of stuff that like I, I usually don't really use in games, but I kind of like that it's there, you know, just, I don't know, someone might want to do it, but the cell shaded effect does look kind of nice. It would probably look a little better if the game was just more vibrant or just more saturated. Just, you know, it kind of goes with a cell shaded style. I usually cell shaded games are like anime games and Borderlands, and you know, I mean, th they are pretty vibrant games. It's just, it, it's just kind of part of the style, you know. But anyway, Nightmare. That's the PS1 thing. Sega and Silent Dream. Let's go for Sega. It just pixelates the f fuck out of your screen. Or, I mean, interesting. But I can't see shit. I mean, it is definitely an artistic choice. I imagine playing the whole game like this. Like, bro, why the fuck would you do that to yourself? What are we missing? Silent Dream. Oh, damn, it's foggy as hell. Actually, that's that's kind of nice. I kind of like that. I'm, I'm gonna have to check out some other areas with style. Actually, how does this look just normally? Audio display... And... Default. Well, it, it looks normal. <laughs> Not sure what I was expecting. Silent Dream. It just... Yeah, it, it's just... It, it just becomes Silent Hill. I, I get it. Alright, so let's try and make this... Zuck. Let me see if I still remember. I think you can just walk off onto this one. And onto this one. Now, this one, I think you gotta jump. But it's not... <laughs> Fuck! Well, that's fine. That's why we have the homunculus back there. Walk off. Actually, can I not just... Walk? Nah, I, I don't think I can just walk off there. But... Uh, oh, bro, I thought I was gonna fail that. Uh, now, I remember... Actually, you... You were able to just jump off the second one, and you might still be able to, but fuck it, I want to make it to the last one. Uh, and I did. All right, let's go. And now, hey -o! All right, cool. That's uh, Agile Cape. All right, so Silent Dream is actually pretty nice. It adds a bunch of fog everywhere, you know, pretty atmospheric. Let's talk to... Yo, they gave her a helmet? I mean, a hood? I don't know, like, I, I kind of like her, like, the way she looks. But considering she's supposed to be, like, a guard captain or royal division captain, I don't think she looks very... Royal Division-y, you know what I mean? Like, her her old armor looked more Royal Division-y. Like, these guys, they have some huge-ass plate armor. She just looks like some kind of rogue or a thief or something. So, I mean, I do appreciate her design. Like, I think it looks pretty cool. But I, I kind of feel like the other, like, the previous design was just a bit more appropriate for her, you know? But... but but, but, yo, that is some nice damage, man. I like it. Alright, these guys are fucking suffering, bro. May maybe I should have done this area earlier. Did I just one-shot that man? Also, let me look at that thing without all the fog. Let's go back. Let's go back to the fault. Huh, the sky looks kind of weird over here. I gotta be honest, like, the extra saturation on this game, especially on stuff like the sky, like this blue tint, I don't think it really helps out the visual aspect of it, to be honest. Uh, I, hold up, let me try... You know, what if it's just at one? Maybe it's my fault. Uh, not, not really. I feel like it's not bleak enough. 
Yes, now that's how the game should look like. I'm kidding. But the blue tint on the sky and it, I don't know, it just makes it look a little weird. Yeah, we got another one of these big fuckers. I fought one of these guys before and they absolutely destroyed my shit. And from the looks of it, they're about to do it again. But also, maybe not. Maybe if I can just hit them with that, I mean, I, even then. That's a lot of health, bro. I mean, this guy isn't too hard to handle if you can just like space him out and stuff. But like that health bar is just like, why, bro? <laughs> like, why? Anyway, uh, recipe unlock Forsaken concoction. Also, what is this? Th this is one of the, the explosive robots. They used to exist through this area, but I haven't seen them since. Yo, is that another big dude? Yeah, I'll need to kill him to get the... Uh, I see. Dude, what is this? That's a morning star. Alright, cool, cool. Uh, by the way, do I... What? <laughs> yeah, that does no damage, man. Also, is that guy barefoot? Is that a Miyazaki reference? Now, I should probably kill that thing but it's a giant which are giant pains in the ass that guy didn't really give you anything special so if it does now you're just going to have to let me know in the comments cuz I ain't killing this motherfucker if that thing was a boss and it gave you some perk essence I would consider it but just a random ass dude trying to waste your fucking time no thank you also by the way can i oh i can perfect parry their lasers but i don't think i shoot them back or i i, I don't think he was taking damage but that's cool you can perfect parry the lasers you see this thing like these are these work kind of like the giants but if i'm not mistaken you only have to take them out once if you can hit their fucking legs, that is. Bruh, stop whiffing! I think you only have to do this once. Yeah, and they take a lot more damage, man. Like, something like this, it's kind of fine. But the other giants, they just fucking suck. Plus, their little grab attack does so much damage, man. But now, from this place, you can go up there, which will lead into the biggest elevator in gaming history. Or alternatively, we can go this way. There's a giant X dude over here. We can fight Silicon Visage over there. Or we can get the shortcut down here. And also, if I take the elevator over there, you can find another one-handed weapon. Holy shit, that was... Bro! <laughs> that was a fast-ass elevator, man. Goddamn. Alright, so, this area... Look... Wait, who the fuck? Wait, actually, I think I do remember those enemies, but... Is there a weapon back here? The Soul Breaker. Yes, that's what I was looking for. Oh yeah, these guys shoot missiles. That's fucking sick. Now, pull that lever. Alright, raise that thing and we are back at our regular homunculus. Which, by the way, if I interact with it, no matter what, the homunculus mirage is gonna come back, right? Yeah, it will. This is still medium armor. But I mean, so far it's been doing pretty well. Also, I might want to test out that Soul Breaker. So, Mark 3. And, uh, wait, where is the Paladin? Yes, it's already Mark 3. I'm gonna drop some extra damage crystals into some of these. Uh, but th this is not gonna be like my final build or anything. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm going to eventually switch to heavy armor. Like, for example, the... Templar armor. I mean that does look pretty sick, but also so far I feel like the medium armor has been holding up pretty well And I just kind of want to see how it does in a fight like in a real fight Against a fucking dragon. I never really did enjoy fighting this guy too much But oh well, I mean, you know, it's launch. I, I gotta see how this feels But his animations are just fucking weird man I hate it. Let's go. Damage is... 
not the greatest, but I we might be able to manage. Uh, what is he weak to? All right, so the I I guess he. Well, I mean, it's not super different. I mean, 23 to 25 on Slash, not a crazy difference. But I feel like he's weaker to Blunt. At least I think that's how you read that, <laughs> correct? I mean, the the red means he's weak to it, not that he's strong. I, honestly, not to know. I, I'm pretty sure that means... What the f... Yeah, I, well, I, I, I can use a Blunt weapon. Is this different? I feel like it is, but it also it's also just a different weapon. Oh, bro, how did that hit me? Bro, the... What? You know, I'm... I'll just... No, I can't lock him either. What the fuck is up with those hitboxes, man? All right, so what am I going to do about these fucking balls? I guess... Dodge away. That one still hit me. Oh. And where are they? Oh. And ho- uh. <laughs> Bro, come on. I gotta space them really hard. Alright, I see. Come back down here, pussy. Fucking chicken. Alright, yeah, you just do your little laser. And- Whoa! Right, pull. And- Bo Can I- Get a fucking parry on this guy? I mean, probably. I think that just- works like if you can block an attack you can parry but it's tough is he gonna go up and then summon his minions i know he has a face like that where are the minions oh here they go does he attack while he's in the air i don't remember he definitely does attack while he's in the air get the fuck out of here all right so is this like timed or something Ooh, I do not remember. Look, whenever you're tired, I guess we can get back to it if you want to. If you don't, I mean, that's fine too, I guess. I'll just slaughter your fucking babies. Also, isn't he a robot? Like, how the fuck is he making children? These things are messing me up. I, I already have no healing. Like, what? And now he's down. And now I have these little bitches on the... Oh my, what What do I do about it now? Well, fucking die, clearly. Anyway, I do have some points over here. Boom, 25 constitution, that's nice. Drop everything else into strength. Now, perks. While blocking, 30% of damage received is reflected back to attackers. Additionally, each point of constitution increases the damage reflected by 1% up to a maximum of 30... Yo, that, that might be nice. So I'm blocking and doing damage at the same time. Bruh. Like, yeah, I might I might just take this, honestly. What if I don't slaughter his children? Because I know there's actually an achievement uh, that is killing this guy without slow... God, bro, the fucking laser, come on. But yeah, there's an achievement of killing this guy without killing any of his babies. So, that is possible, that is a possibility, but I'm not sure, like, do they just stay on the field? They probably will, yes. That will kind of suck. I, I don't know, let's just experiment, I guess. Come on. Hey, oh, ugh. right, cool. Bro, you want to come down or what? How many mini dragons are in there? What the fuck? Oh shit, he's back. Hey, oh, jump over that. All right. So, oh, they, they do disappear. Wait, did he just fucking kill them with that scream? I guess he did. All right, this dude doesn't give a fuck. Wait a minute. What just happened with his fucking health bar? Yo, that is some BS, bro. I swear, if he has another phase and he just does it again, like, I, I don't know. But I get if you leave the little babies alive, he gets health from it. Bro, that sucks. Like, but I mean, oh, dude, I was I was way too close. Anyway, let's let's just see what happens. Maybe he doesn't do the the baby phase now that he already did it. 
Bro, was was all that damage just from blocking? What the fuck? Yo, I, I gotta test out this block damage. Hold up. I, I don't think I can block that. Or this. Truck. Dung. Alright, now block. Yo, the block damage? It's kinda nice. But I'm out of healing again. So, <laughs> you know. He pro. Alright, that also does some pretty good damage. Alright, I don't know what the fuck that is. But, god damn it, I don't like it. Yo, what the fuck is this? Bro? Anyway, I got like a thousand and three different potion types now. So hopefully they will do something. Let's go. Let's beat Silicon's ass. And he's gonna call in the babies. So, I mean, do I wanna kill him or not? That's the real question. Because if I don't, he's gonna get his health back. But if I do, I'm probably gonna lose health myself in the process of doing... Yeah, I mean... So I, I... I don't know if that's even worth it, honestly. Like, I think I lose less health fighting the boss than fighting these fucking things. But I can always take a few of them out, I guess. There's a laser. Uh, truck. Down. Oh! Where the... Uh, alright, I mean, they do have wings, I guess. Anyway, can take this one out. They both died, cool. Now, can I... Oh! Bro! Yo, the fucking crit! It, it might be smart to invest into some, like, crit damage stuff as well. Because these goddamn parries, bro, they be doing God's work out here. Oh, it's the fucking... It's this thing, the fucking orbital laser. Alright, alright, just stay away from whatever this is. Uh, we good? Are we? Bro, just fucking... Actually, just put the weapon away, right? Because I have infinite stamina like this. That is much easier. What the fuck am I doing? He's gonna start doing this shit again. And yeah, I mean, overall, I think it is worth it to kill the babies. Let's let's do it. He might die with a burning. Maybe. Where's the laser? Right there he is. Uh, you fuck off. You're gonna die. Pluck, pung, pluck, pung, trung. Where is? Oh, oh come on! That that's cheating, man. He shouldn't be getting off the ground anymore now. I think. No, actually, he might get off the ground for the balls and the orbital laser, but not for babies. I think. Ooh, let's go. And hot. And out of stamina. And dodge this. And tra Oh, come. I was so... Wait a minute. Can I hit the tail? You, you probably can. You probably can hit the tail over there. Actually, I might want to try it. Ugh! Ah, come here. You fucking bitch. I'm sure you could do it. But... <laughs> well, anyway. Let's do this. Dead! Bro, how? Just get the fuck out of here. Alright. Is he gonna blow up? Bro, like that. That is a cool looking boss. But I. I don't love its fight, you know? Also, why are there two of them now? What is that? Dude, what in the anomaly is this? Can I scan this? I'm pretty sure this thing isn't meant to be here. It just is. Stabilize that perk essence. Yo, what up, girl? Missed me. Now, character, perks, and I mean, I do... Oh, wait a minute. You can only get one upgrade? Well, I mean, I guess that means we have another perk to choose. For example, maybe Vindicator. Heavy attacks now deal 150 of base weapon damage instead of 125. Increase critical chance by 10% for all heavy attacks. What else do we have around here? Companions. I never really used the, the elementals and the illusions, but it does seem kind of fun. Mindbreaker. I remember that this used to stun enemies, but it didn't work on bosses, so it was kind of a waste. But it does say now that those that resist receive a daze debuff, reducing their overall damage. So that... I 
I guess would be useful against bosses. But uh, yeah, I mean, right now I think I'll go for Vindicator. And what can I get here? Critical hits with your heavy attacks now deal half of the critical hit damage in a 300 unit. So AoE, heavy attacks now apply a stack of the DK debuff while critical heavy attacks apply two stacks. So after a parry, I would always be applying two stacks. But so, trusting that the K will still lower defense and attack power by 10%, I mean, stacking those, two of those with a crit, like, that's, that's nice. I kinda just wanna fight Nurge and see how it's gonna go with a crit. But anyway, that's gonna be for later, guys. Hope you liked it. Peace!